What's good, show? And welcome to my review to Geo's store. Just came back from the theater not too long ago. Me and my mom said we saw it in the Real D 3D. And I would say the 3D is overall pretty good for this movie. But if you're going to watch this movie, you might as well just watch it in IMAX because it's a disaster. It will take, probably take a good advantage of the giant screen, the huge speed bump. So if you're going to watch it, I would even just go watch it in IMAX. But. Let's talk about the movie. So, this movie is directed by Dean Devlin, as well as also produced by him. The cast includes Garrett Butler as Jake, Abby Corset, I, Corset, I think I, I bet your name, plays Sarah, and Hanson plays Dykin. We have James Sturgis as Max, and others. So, now, overall, what I saw, now, I honestly did not really care about this movie. I saw some shows like a uh, disaster movie, because I'm not really a, a, a disaster movie fan. I don't look forward to, like, ooh, a new disaster movie, all right. I'm more indifferent about them. I mean, the only two disasters I can remember I see off the top of my head is The Day After Tomorrow and 2012. And both of those movies were forgettable. The Day After Tomorrow, I'm pretty sure it's been like a, de like a decade since last time I see memory, and 2012 was meh. Like, these are, like, disaster movies that tend to be forgettable for me. But listen to me, some of you guys probably just love this shit. You probably eat this shit up. And, yeah, let us, and let's talk, so the story about this movie is that Garrett Butler's character, Jay, is, like, one of the smartest scientists in the world. He's like, I'm starting smart. And, he, and he's created this new, this new device, this, or satellite, I should say, that predicts storm and can combat them when they predict them and they actually do. And it's called Dutch Boy, and 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 through and then through the movie it starts now there starts having some massive storms like a snowstorm that hits you know a storm that freezes over people in Afghanistan and like a like a heat wave and like an earth, a giant earthquake in you know Hong Kong and like another and some other storms and so and so Garrett and so Garrett uh, Butler's character Jake has to go up into space and figure out what the problem is and yeah and so let's all the cast. I would say the cast was overall meh. No one like I don't like I would say I don't buy Garrett Butler being one of the smartest scientists in the world, nor do I buy, you know, the guy that plays his brother as like you know wherever the president. The only one I really did care about was Abby Corshin, I Cornshi, I probably butchered her name, who plays uh, the super the um super service. I did enjoy her character. I did buy her. And you know, um Ed Harrison was Ed Harrison. So but that was it. No one was really all that friendly, like but while I did not really buy into his character, I don't, that does not mean he was not entertaining as hell to watch. Because, he, he pretty much made this movie go up a couple points on his watch, because overall I probably would have given this movie a 6. But I can't, but it went up a couple points, not as my final verdict is just yet, but, I'll get that in a second. But he was like, like, at the beginning of the movie, we go to this, like, scene to, like, this, like, a, like, a Senate meeting or something where he is, there, there's, like, but since he was the guy that created the, the Dutch boy, that, like, the Senate or the House or the UN comes at him to have this meeting, and he's talking about, like, you know, oh, we're gonna give it to the world in, like, a couple weeks, blah, 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 and he's talking, he just, he just roasts these guys, he just, he just gets deep into these, you know, these old guys in suits, they're like, oh, he's like, oh, yeah, sure, you're just there, just to, you know, take the credit, fuck, just have to your brand to your mistress and shit, like, he was there to, and his brother is, like, texting and telling like, stop, stop, just please, just roll over, please, like, he's not just, you know, stop roasting them, <laughs> but he doesn't stop, but he keeps roasting them, he keeps roasting, he was up there being the most entertaining part of them, besides, you know, the, when the story, but even then, I wasn't really that bad, I was like, <sighs> I wasn't even that invested when, like, you know, the storms did hit, and we did see the special effects. But the special effects were pretty good in this movie. I was like, I said, I wasn't all that invested. I honestly didn't really give a shit. I was like, I was just kind of just there, like, not, not really giving a shit. Kind of enjoyed me just laughing at it, and how stupid it is. Showed my face full of popcorn. Yeah. It just shoved my face, <laughs> just shoved my face full of popcorn. And, yeah, so... Well, he was the most entertaining part of the movie. The rest of the cast was just mad. And the, um, and the, when the storms did hit, they were overall pretty good. The special effects were pretty good. Uh, the 3D also pretty good. I'm pretty sure if you watch me in IMAX, probably it's going to be a lot better. Uh, yeah, because, you know, it's a disaster movie. IMAX is kind of built for this kind of shit. Uh, but yeah. Like I said, um, <laughs> like I said, like, you know, the movie itself was meh. Would I recommend this one to you guys? If you were a fan of disaster movies, I'd say go watch. You're probably going to enjoy it. If you are not bad, if you're like more like a guy like me that's just like kind of like disaster, they're like, meh. 
I mean, if you got nothing better to do and first, and you and you've already watched Blade Runner twenty four nine, because if you haven't watched Blade Runner twenty four nine, please, for the love of God, go watch him. That new movie needs to make some decent money. I mean, I've seen some of the box office records. So, I mean, it looks like not doing all that well, which is kind of like a sin that they're really not doing well because that movie is fucking amazing. That movie is so fucking good. Watch that movie on IMAX if you have no rage. You can get the chance to because it is so fucking good. But yes. So, my final verdict for Geostorm is an 8 out of 10. It only gets that answer just because, uh, just because, uh, because Garrett Butler's character was entertaining as hell. That's the only reason he got an 8. He, bur- he, he pushed up those two points, but yeah. I th- just go with this movie this way that, it, that this movie is stupid. Just, you know, come in there with a group of friends, maybe, and you know, just shove your face full of popcorn and enjoy the, so- enjoy the storm pour that you are witnessing. So yeah, guys. That is my review of, 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 of Geostorm. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter if you feel like it. And let's always come back for more. See you guys next And also, expect two reactions to the new uh, Bl- uh, Black Panther trailer, as well as the new Punisher trailer, sometime tomorrow. Because today I'm going to go watch some horror movies, because, you know, my horror movie marathon. And we're also going to turn it on me later on tonight. So yeah, guys, I'm hot to see that. Looking forward to what's going down super. And see some awesome JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Star Wars Crusade. going to be hot as well. Yeah, and also, Gundam, and also, Iron Blood Orphan Season 2. Oh, God, I love that show. See you guys. See you next time.